We go now to the Serbian club where the Serbian Grechenica village will entertain us with some traditional music, dance, and some history. Good day, everyone. My name is Anne Duby, current president of the board of the Serbian Heritage Museum. Welcome to our exhibit called A Peek Into Our Collection. This exhibit portrays collections from uh, items from our collection, such as paintings, tapestry, jewelry, medals, musical instruments, handiwork, and others. Behind me is the painting of the migration of Serbs, which took place in the 7th and 8th centuries. And the original painting was done in 1896. Uh, we have a copy that was donated to the museum, and as you can see, it's very beautiful. Another gem from our collection is this painting. This shows Saint Sava, who was the founder of our Orthodox, Serbian Orthodox faith. And this shows Saint Sava blessing Serbian children. It's also a rare painting um, that was done in 1921. This was an original painting from 1921 that's a part of our collection we're very proud to have. On this side, uh, we have a display of a woolen, it's called a chillin. It's a blanket. This one was made in 1920. It's handmade, it's hand dyed wool, and um, we have a few of these in our collection. In here also, we have a traditional um, Serbian bagpipes. Uh, the bag's made out of sheepskin. And uh, we also have a set of books in here. These two are a collection of um, books that relay stories from that era. Uh, we have um, volumes 12 and 13, printed in 1924. And this book here is the Vuk Karadžić Dictionary. Vuk Karadžić invented the Cyrillic alphabet and more or less the Serbian language. This book was published in 1898, and it is one of three originals in the world, and we are fortunate to have one of the three. The stained glass window I'm standing beside is one of the original windows from our Grechanica Serbian Orthodox Church, which is found at the corner of Tecumseh and Meldrum Road. Uh, when we changed to the current windows that we had, we decided it was important to keep one for historic purposes, and uh, this is the one that we chose to preserve in our museum. It is beautiful, and we are very proud to hold on to it. Hello, my name is Salona Celic, and on behalf of the Grechanica Serbian Orthodox community, I would like to thank you for joining us for Carousel at Home. In partnership with the Multicultural Council, we bring you this great opportunity to share you our Serbian heritage with Windsor Essex. Dobrodošli i uživajte. As well, we would also like to wish you a happy Canada Day. Sretan dan Kanade. Today, I'd like to share a story from the perspective of one of our long-standing community members, George Velichkovich. George immigrated to Canada 50 years ago where he settled in Windsor, Ontario. Canada, being a conglomerate of different ethnic backgrounds, had a place for him and his Serbian heritage. He joined the, the Grechanica Serbian Orthodox Church located at the corner of Tecumseh Road and Meldrum. The church can be easily recognized by its unique Serbian Byzantine architecture of red and yellow bricks. It also supports the Serbian community center a few kilometers down Tecumseh Road, which matches the church's architecture and bricks. 
tying the two structures together. With the inception of Carousel of Nations in 1975, an opportunity was given to the community to share Serbian traditions with other Canadians. It also allowed the community to interact and learn from and about the different ethnic groups that make up the Canadian fabric. In the beginning, there was a small hall where Serbian traditions were shared. To be able to share our story and background, various Serbian groups worked together and shared responsibilities in order to make the event happen. The Women's Church Organization, the Circle, the Circle of Serbian Sisters, was the first to roll up their sleeves and make homemade specialties to share with visitors. The rich part of Serbian tradition and history was gathered by the Women's Heritage Society using old Serbian artifacts and documents. Serbian men roasted suckling pigs and lamb on spits and filled makeshift coolers with appropriate be beverages supply, like Sokolova, a traditional Serbian plum brandy. And in order to involve everyone, the church school organized children in traditional national costumes to greet people at the door with salt and bread. The weekend of carousel was a beehive of activities where everyone would work together to bring a joyful weekend to visitors filled with beverages, food, laughter, and wonderful memories. This was the picture at the beginning where there was only a small hall and picnic grounds. During the last 45 years, many things changed and improved. More Serbian immigrants came to Canada from former Yugoslavia and joined the community in the 90s. Our picnic grounds were transformed into a park uh, with fields for soccer, volleyball, basketball, and bocce ball, and included a large patio attached to the hall. This larger community center opened up in 1987 and continues to expand, even giving the young children an elaborate playground while the adults are busy ensuring that the guests are enjoying their visit. Along with improvements in the picnic ground, a new large kitchen, the longest bar in Windsor, a Serbian heritage museum, and large parking lot were added to the community center, and many volunteers in the community established new standards. The attendance of the Serbian carousel skyrocketed and the awards from the Multicultural Council kept coming. Praise through the no local newspaper and TV reinforced the popularity of the Serbian village as one of the top hosts in the event. The traditional folk dancing, singing, museum exhibits, and sporting events were all well attended. George's perspective of this community is one that many other immigrants and locals of the Serbian community share, along with the other guests who have attended the event throughout the last 45 years. We'd like to thank everyone who supported us through the years, but because of the circumstances, we are not able to open our doors. We hope that next year we'll have the opportunity to see everyone to join us for a weekend filled with joy. Amazing.